Hello, welcome to Brocco Lane. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about private owner wagons. Um, the colourful variety which uh, lots of manufacturers make. Oxford Rails do some really nice ones, Backman, just about everybody does some. And a lot of people really like the look of them but can't use them because maybe they model the a different era. Well, I'm going to show you how uh, you can use them in the BR era and uh, what I've been doing with a few of mine so I can run them with my BR steam locomotives recently. So the majority of private owner coal wagons, in particular and some other types, were taken over during the Second World War by the government and taken away from the private companies and they were put into a, a pool and of course British Railways um, took over them um, later on and they were all numbered into the BR numbers and uh, they weren't always repainted into the grey or the brown they were quite often left in this sort of state as you can see in this book here um, and all they did was uh, put the black patches over put the BR running numbers on there and also these markings quite often painted one of these bars white uh, which indicated where the door was and um, weights and things on that side and now you can do this in model form as I have done the basic colours I use for weathering is um, a wash of um, dirty brown uh, mixed with grey really so you really want to go for a, a grey brown as dark as possible although not as dark as black of course and then you won't be too far wrong I like to use these precision paints they do a weathered wood one which is very good frame dirt of course and you want to be mixing it with sort of a, a lightish grey like that one. And uh, you tend to come out with something like that. It does involve quite a bit of heavy weathering, but I quite like doing that anyway. And as you can see there, uh, this was a sheep bridge wagon. And this is a Batman model, and it was actually out of the Harry Hauler's set. And it was let's say very toy like it didn't have the shading of some of the other wagons um, let me show you one that I've not painted um, it didn't have the detail of that one for example with the black um, metalwork uh, shaded lettering things it was very basic um, but once weathered um, you can't really tell um, I have picked out uh, some of that ironwork in a rust colour and I've also applied these decals over the top to make it look like uh, it's probably an early 1950s livery. And uh, you can just see the uh, the original attractive red livery underneath. Now there are some good books available on the subject. And this particular one which I've acquired recently um, has got a list of all the correct numbers and what companies they originally came from. I'm not being that... Uh, strict um, with choosing the numbers. This is the book I've used. I actually bought it for the brake vans because it's a really interesting brake vans which I happen to have a few private owner coal wagon pictures in as well. Shame they're not all colour photos but they're, quite, they're really quite difficult to find colour photos of private owner wagons. But Model Master do this sheet of transfers and you can see I've chopped a lot out already and used them but you can see the number there um, MM4672 is this particular one and um, after weathering the wagon uh, you just apply those in the correct places and hey presto you can then use your private owner wagons in BR era uh, because of course there's a lot of um, a lot of nice private owner wagons available at swap meets they've been done for years and years and years from many manufacturers uh, so it's, it's a good way of adding a little bit of colour the weathered colour to your BR coal trains and it's just a, it's a fun interesting product uh, project to do in these difficult times so a lot of these Harrison's wagons I've collected uh, I've had these in my collection for years um, I've got about 10 of them but as all my steam locomotives are BR I just weren't running them really they were just sat on a bit of a display track so I've slowly uh, re purposing them, um, weathering them and uh, and using them with um, plain grey BR wagons although that is a heavily weathered version as well and you can do this with the 5 planks, 7 planks 
so yeah, that, that's one that uh, that's the before and after, if you like. Not to everybody's taste, of course, but uh, it's uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this sort of thing, and uh, I'll be looking out for some more interesting, different liveries at Swap Meets that can do the same thing too. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Broccoli. Bye-bye.